Ooh. Hold on, this menu and this music kind of tough. Hold on. What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milling in the Villa Villa Trilogy. We are back on Corpse Party, and now we are on Corpse Party 2 Dead Patient. Y'all know, um, Corpse Party 2 Darkness Distortion is coming out soon. So I've been going, I've been, you know, I've just been preparing myself for going on and finishing all these Corpse Party games while I got the, before it comes out. We got to view the prologue. And I know this is only one chapter, but I heard it was really interesting and I really wanted to check it out. And it's probably gonna give me a little, you know, it might have something to do with Darkness Distortion. So it might give me a little insight on, you know, what that what that game's gonna be about, you feel me? So I had to give it a go. Had to give it a I had to get in it. Let's view the prologue. Woo! Hold on. I really like this presentation. I really like this presentation. I'm hoping to do I'm hoping to beat this while I have the time. Only got I'm gonna do all it all I can. Silence of a dim room was broken by a faint ding, indicating that another email had been received. The computer's user moved his hands from the keyboard to the mouse and clicked into the mailbox. He was greeted by a row after row of messages, all with the same subject. Nod to the netherworld. Contact form. Oh snap, that's Yoshiki and Ayumi. Oh dang, Yoshiki, he got rid of the hair dye. He dyed it black. The black haired boy gave a soft sigh then looked away from the screen, casting his eyes to the opposite corner of the room. We sure do get a lot. What should we do with them all? The boy's tone was troubled, but remained kind and even as he spoke. He was showing obvious consideration for his companion. And that companion was a single girl wearing a white cardigan. She was seated in the corner of the room illuminated by the sun, but didn't, even, but didn't move even a single muscle. Her gaze was unfocused, looking at her. One could be forgiven if we're wondering if she were really cognizant of her surrounding, or if she existed a little, as little more than a vegetable. We should shut the window at least. We don't want you catching the cold, Shinazaki. So this picks up right after blood drive? Or not? What the fuck is this? Hey bro, we a dead patient? What's going on? What's happening to me? Where am I? Bro, we're about to be a dead patient. Stop with that dumbass joke. I wrecked my bank. I wrecked my brain trying to understand the situation I was in and how I could have gotten here. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't remember a thing. Nah, you gotta get out before you're a dead patient. I is anyone there? Excuse me. I'm scared. I'm so scared. Hey, break free, break free, break free. Come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Dang, we fell on our face. Okay. That noise is starting to get on my nerves. There's no way it hurt that bad. Calm down. Oh, it was a needle. Okay, yeah, that probably did hurt that bad. My apologies. <laughs> it hurts so much. It feels like my head is about to burst open. Just had to throw up. Did she piss blood? Oh, I made such a mess. Did she just shit blood? My head feels so woozy. It's all I can it's all I can do to 
it, it's all I can do just to remain conscious. I can't believe I soiled myself. Maybe the anesthetic hasn't completely worn off yet. Bro, we're not even five minutes in and we already got pissed. This looks like an operating room, but what am I doing here? Wait, who? Who even am I? I can't remember anything. Can we run? Okay. This new chibi spy. Ooh, that's just kind of hard. You can actually like select items. Hold on. Hold on. Ah, the music was sounding like it was building up, bro. I got excited. Medical chart, Chihiro Yamada. Oh, those are the new name tags. Small cue in a chair, faintly glinting in the dull light of the room. Ooh, I like this new pickup sound. It's kind of funky. B button. Okay, okay, yeah. That's what I was doing earlier. Select it from the menu. It'll put it in Ayame's hand, and she will automatically use it. Well, way to spoil her name. Okay. She, we, I don't... Number of surgical tools. We got forceps. All right. A red warning. It was warning me not to read it. Now I'm dead. Graph spinning on the monitor. It's unclear what the numbers on it mean. Chart of some kind on the stream. The numbers on it are increasing and decreasing rapidly. Small key on the cabinet door. Disposable surgical items. Among them are several pairs of disaffected rubber gloves. Give me that. Now let's go in here. Single medical record with a note attached to it. The medical record has a patient name and photograph listed on it as well. Read the medical record. This, this is me. <laughs> Why does she look? She looks stupid. <laughs> Ayame Ito. Ayame. Yes, that's right. That's my name. My name is Ayame Ito. I finally remember. ID card lodged in the file. An ID card. Oh, hell no. Yo, stop, stop, stop. Card lock. The power's cut. And then I can use to connect the two halves of this cable. I don't know. Forceps? I can put these forceps in between the two halves of this cable to complete the connection. Yeah, that, that probably hurts. That probably hurts a lot. Can I like... Put on these rubber gloves before using the forceps. All right, there we go. It's just, yeah, it was just a what you call it. Uh, I had to do some things first. Am I recording? All right. Oh, had to make sure I was recording, my fault. A name tag. Mio Sunahara. Hell no. Nah. Y'all mind giving me a flashlight? Type shit. Okay. Who is that? Get up! It's black and syrupy. Ew. That is red. I don't. Oh, but I don't trust following her either. Emergency exit. All right. In my R room. In my MRI room. What is that?
It's so quiet. Why is there no one else here? I don't... Excuse me, is anyone there? It's so dark too, I can't... I don't... Oh, it's the second floor. Where is everyone? Aren't there any nurses? Everything's a mess too. What happened here? Was this place ransacked? It's so creepy. Okay, stay calm. Do need to see if I can find anyone? Maybe I'll remember something along the way. I can do this. Honestly, I kind of like the idea of isolation. Like there not being any other characters. It makes it feel a lot more creepy. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I see this though. Oh, that's cool. Hinata Morig Morigana. Morgana? Like that, um... I wonder if I can use that for something. Morgana, like that that Persona guy. Eureka Sakamoto. Sakamoto? Like that guy from Persona? That, that, that guy from Persona 5? Stop. I like the new save too. That's hard. Yo, I'm gonna be real. So far, this game looks like it could it could it could be like one of the best, one of the like one of the top three of course party. If they finished it, there's a note. Be back in a bit. I'll leave the key with someone else in the changing room in case anyone needs to get in here in the meantime. Get the office key from the changing room. And then, and then they're giving us actual objectives instead of just making us figure it out. This is actually hard. I like this. Directory. What's that, like a map? Amare P P P Patriarcha. I don't recognize that name at all. I wish it listed the address. I have no idea where I actually am right now. Oh no. The groupings here, I'm betting these lockers are sorted in the Japanese alphabet. Vowels first. K S T C N. Oh, what are you talking about? Quite a few of these hampers. I count seven in total. Can we click on all of them? I bet. Let's see. Nothing. Nothing. White coat, canvas hamper, Nishida. There's a key. A locker key. All right. Was that a key to one of the lockers? Okay. T C N H F M K. So what? She should have be here. But she should have be here. I don't know. Y'all acting like I know anything about like Japanese. I don't. Katori. Is is. Kono. There we go. The locker is now unlocked. Office key. That's taken care of. There's no further use for time cards or locker keys. Those have all been discarded. Are you sure? I don't know how I feel about that decision. This is a pretty unsettling game so far. What do, what do we even need in here? Cup of coffee. Like some documents. They seem to be locked. Sticky note attached to the computer monitor. Code to open the door to Chief's birthday. Don't forget. I do not know who the Chief is. Attached to the monitor. The Chief's coffee is the red one. Don't get it mixed up with your own. He is serious about that coffee, isn't he? Hey. You die. Don't get the chief's coffee. Don't get the chief's coffee mixed up with yours, bro. Blue cup of coffee. All right. So this, I should be able to find the chief's birthday here. Mitamura. 
Mitamura. Okay. There's a list of names in it. I should take it with me. Staff list. Staff list. Let me see that. Mitamura. February 21st, 1967. All right. What again is the is the chief's back birthday? What password is the chief's birthday? The code to open the door. Okay, the code to open the door. Where is this door exactly? I'm guessing it's right here. Though I don't see a door. Nine teen sixty one it was Oh thank god I thought it was gonna kill me nineteen sixty seven They told me not to forget it and I forgot it oh wow nineteen sixty seven zero two twenty one Okay And these are the boxes, okay. I saw him. I saw him. I saw him. Should we go over there and say hi? Wait, all right, should we say what's up? Let's say what's up. Oh, can we go in here actually? It's locked. Let's say what's up. Goodness, what is going on in there? Who's getting beat up? Ah, oh, dang, he already left. We couldn't say what's up to him. He left already. Toya Beppu. What a goofy goober name. This song, this this music is like putting chills down my spine. I'm shivering in my timbers right now, bro. Oh, that old man with the pointy chin. This reminds, this reminds me of that one part in uh Blood Cover. Where you go, uh, where you leave the stairs, and then you see the little kid goes walk following you. Do I smell incense? You gotta get rid of them spirits, man. Man, I don't really believe in that. Like, if you want to get rid of spirits, you believe in the power of Christ for real. But hey, y'all, y'all got y'all beliefs, and that, hey, y'all believe in that. So hey, y'all gotta. In, in the world of courts party, y'all gotta get, sir, 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 sir. Do we like follow him? Are we cool, Mister? The hell is wrong with you? Are you trying to make a fool of me? You're the ones who are wrong here. I should, I could crush you all like bugs if I wanted to, you know? All right. Well, that's got nothing to do with me. I know that. Go to the bathroom. Maybe we can find somebody hanging out. This game is really interesting. Nothing really scary has happened yet. Everything has been like just kind of atmosphere so far. Oh, this is the boys' bathroom. If someone were to see me here, I'd be mortified. I should leave. Ain't nobody here. All these lockers and not one chasing. I'm not complaining though. I'd rather not be chased, especially when she runs this freaking slow. Okay, Mr. 
lion monster thing. I will not try to open your door again. What's here? It's locked. And I do with this. I, I saw you. I saw you. Did I just see someone moving in there? Pharmaceutical dispensary. The room on the other side of the glass must be in a rather haphazard shape. In common court party fashion, this music is bumping. Show Toriyama. Hey. Hey there, I've uh. You see, I'm I'm trying to like I, I I I woke up here, and I don't really know much about who I am. You know, I think I might have amnesia. All I know is that my name is Ayame Ito, and you talking over me, and I don't really appreciate that. You speaking nonsense, but. I, I could really, I, you know, I saw you in here and you're like, you're the only person I've seen since I've like woken up and I'm like, you know, what's going on with this place? I don't know where I am. I don't know what this is. Like, you think maybe you can give me some a assistance, ma'am? The branches are bones. The earth is the meat. I shall breathe life into these clumps of earth. Some will be sent to the sea. Others will be sent to the sky. Still, others will take the residence in the soil. I shall rejoice in this life, for people are born without the means to abide the wicked breath. In time, it will destroy them. When equilibrium is lost, it can never be restored. Yet all I can do is watch as the wicked breath runs rampant. My final wish, to see it all return to the void. The meat chipped away, the bones broken, and all revert to naught but clumps of earth. Yeah. Yo, that's a nice little poem. Is that spoken word? Um, but I need help, ma'am. Did you get your medical license off a of wish, motherfucker? I need assistance. Help me. Oh my. You is worthless. Hell no. Hell no. You would. You a damn motherfucker if you think I'm. Yep. 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 Before anything, all of these lights get turned on. I do not trust this area the slightest bit. If I'm gonna be in here, I want to. I want maximum comfort. Oh, okay. The render distance just shut off. Okay. I know something's gonna happen. What is that? What is that? What is he doing? What is he doing? A toy that makes a sound when shaken, designed to calm babies. Oh, I see what I gotta do. I gotta make him destroy the area. I gotta make him break the door open. Maybe I gotta lure it into the light. Oh, okay, yeah. 
He does that whenever he goes into a light area. Come on, just step in. Just walk into the light. Move! You're in the light, why aren't you getting hurt? Bitch. You did this on purpose, you jo oh. My apologies, I was not familiar with your game. So, um, is that fun or something? Okay. I think, of course, okay. No, the key, where's the key? Sweetheart, I was about to say, can I get that key off you? Thank you, thank you very much. Don't you dare chase me. Don't you dare chase me. Don't you dare chase me. Who is that? Oh, big body, ain't he? Oh, dang, the fire door is open now. Oh, wait, no. I don't think, yeah, yeah, this was, this, it was closed right here. I saw a little, ooh, that's blood. What is this? A man's shoe positioned perfectly at the threshold of the elevator. There's only one way to keep the elevator from leaving this floor. Let's get that out of here. I don't. Oh no. Close that. I don't know if that was a good idea. Well, of course the exit isn't gonna work. Oh, never mind. For some reason, I thought the front door exit was just not gonna work. Okay. I don't really trust it though. Oh, it's shut down. It won't open. The door's automatic locks seem to have kicked in, both at the floor and up toward the ceiling. And these locks aren't budging for anything or anyone. No, this is, can't be happening. A cart? On the glass surface of the door, there's a web of cracks, and then something hard had been repeatedly slammed against it. Impact hadn't been enough to break through. Must have tried to use this cart to break the glass and escape. I wish I knew what was going on in here. Was it turning out she was the cause of it all along? No, no, I can't give up yet. I need to try and find another exit. This music is nice. I saw a light from a flashlight when I was over at the pharmacy earlier. And I don't think it was from the woman who hanged herself. So I know I'm not alone here. If I could just find that person again, I'll be able to deal with this all so much better. They could be in the same situation as me too. Objects that are light or have wheels attached. See that link can be moved. Press the A button while facing you'll grab hold of it.
See now, this is the game where we where a flashlight will be useful. Blood drive. That flashlight was redundant. No, please don't go out. I don't want to be in the dark. You're a whore. Stop pissing yourself. Half because my muscles were still relaxed from the anesthetic. I found myself un oh my goodness. I bet the hospital staff's gonna be mad at me for that. I have to come clean this up later if I get the chance. I doubt the hospital staff is alive. Yeah. What is this? Are, are you okay? Are you alone? The face of a young girl already showing signs of intensive crying suddenly twisted itself into a look of sheer primal horror. Terror. Oh, what the heck? I wonder who that was just now. She seems kind of familiar somehow. Feel like I have to protect her. I just can't remember anything clearly. It's so frustrating. Lady. I struggled to try to remember anything at all about myself, but all that did was make my head spin and my, turn my stomach in knots. What even happened to me? Oh my goodness. Someone's there. Excuse me, can you help me? Oh, it's so bright. It's embarrassing. I need to wipe up so badly. Please wait. I'm on. Um, sweetheart, run. Would you please turn that light away from me? It's very bright. I can smell incense again. Oh, thank God. I guess it's a normal person after all. Um, I don't know what's going on exactly, but can you tell me where this hospital is located? I don't know where I am right now. Could he not hear me? Sweetheart. Run. Run. Oh, I'm fine, really. My head just hurts, that's all. I'm actually... I actually can't even remember why I'm here. Every time I try, I feel sick to my stomach. Okay! <laughs> no, I'm not okay! You just bashed me over the skull! Bro, shut up! Oh, they don't follow you like in blood drive. Still patrolling the entrance hall. I'm not going back out there. All right, so they're limited to that area. As long as I don't go there, I'm good. Uh, well, I'm safe from them at least. A key hanging from one of those hooks. Emergency exit key. Two ten yen coins. Excuse me, ma'am. You mind if I... Ma'am. You don't mind if I break your ankles, do you? Do you, ma'am? No? I guess she does mind. Okay. What if she sees me? Hold on. 
Ankle snatched. Oh, she's got a knife. Right here. Goodness is pouring down. This rain is so heavy, I can't even keep my eyes open. Cry about it. Just figure something out. Through the heavy rain, I could just be I could just about make out the iron staircase leading to the first floor. But the iron was largely rusted away, leaving a gaping hole part way down. There was no way it would hold under my weight. I'd have to find another way down. Oh my goodness. I almost got blown over. I should get back inside. I'll catch my death from a cold here. Why are you mad at me? I didn't do anything. Holding my arm down with the weight of her body, a medical syringe. See the syringe on the outside? I can see the sticker for disposal. Wasn't a proper dose of anything. It was clinical waste. She's trying to kill me. It went in her own neck. Are you all right? Oh, she's back at it. Yo, get off of me. Do I gotta fight? Do I gotta struggle? Hey, yo, help! Back off! Vampire ass. She looks like a mature, la a mature lady. Are you alright? You're a sane one, aren't you? They seem to be afraid of the light. The bear of the flashlight was a slightly plump, middle-aged woman with a large camera slung over her shoulder. So you are, so are you all right? Come on now, get up. If you're in the dark, they'll come for you again. Come over here where it's light. We can introduce ourselves inside. What the higgity hell is going on? It is not light in here. It's not light in here at all. Dare. I'm Ritsuko Satome, a press photographer. Who are you? Uh. I'm Ayame, Ayame Ito. You've gotten yourself caught up in all this too? You poor thing, no one deserves this. <gasps> Do you know what's happening here exactly? I'm afraid I don't. The only thing I can remember clearly is what happened right before I lost consciousness. <laughs> cough, cough. I had woken up that morning hacking so badly that it felt like my lungs were gonna rupture. I thought maybe I just caught a really bad cold, but honestly, I had no idea. But before heading out to take photo photographs for an upcoming article, I decided to swing by Patriarcha. And have it seen to. How much longer am I gonna have to wait? I need to be out here and get to work by the end of lunch. I don't have time for this. But if I can't stop this cold, I won't be but you said work. So there no be there'd be no point in going at all. <laughs> I'm about to get up and tell her, shut up! Grumbling to myself impatiently, my eyes wandered, settling on the visible balcony like hallway of the dirt third floor above me. Ugly ass child. This is making me think of Modern Warfare 3. It's making me think of that one scene in Modern Warfare 3. We're about to see a happy family enjoying each having fun and then a big fucking explosion. Got you! She's about to throw her over the edge!
Why did she do that? What the hell are you doing? Why did she do that? You you an attention seeker, bruh. You an attention seeker. You gonna go to a hospital with a bunch of people with busy days, working hard and sick and in need of care and administration and you're going to kill your child and commit suicide immediately after you an attention seeking motherfucker get a life nah never mind you just lost yours holy schmoly what's going on somebody get a doctor don't push please everyone try to stay calm you there we need a stretch over here ASAP and now because of you and your antics, me and my cough, me and my cough, my situation is gonna be put on the back holder, the back burner, it's gonna be put on hold. They're gonna have me listening to this funky ass jazz on a damn cell receiver. Because you wanna be an attention seeker and murder your child. Ah! <laughs> Ugly corpse. Fuck out of here. They match it and everything. <laughs> how you match with your- How you- How you put magic clothes on your daughter just to kill her? <laughs> you strange. That's be- That's odd behavior. I- I have to shoot this. I feel bad about doing it, but a scoop's a scoop. Try to throw up away from the corpse so you don't interfere with the crime scene, make it harder for the police. Next, this music is jamming. Next thing I know, I'm face down on a stretcher in the second floor hallway. There's an awful lump on the back of my head too. I think somebody knocked me unconscious with a blunt object of some kind. Before I lost consciousness, I saw something absolutely terrifying. Or at least I think I did. I saw it through a viewfinder. And I'm starting to doubt that it was real, but I remember it very distinctly. What was it? A girl in a red dress. The little girl who was thrown from the third floor had her head split open on impact. Naturally, she was already dead, except... She just stands up. Gets up like, uh, type shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, move, move, ew! Never mind. It was probably just a hallucination. I was losing consciousness after all. Besides, dead bodies don't just get up like that. Hey, this is corpse party. This is where the corpses get up and party. Hold on. At any rate, when I woke up, everything was pretty much as you see it now. I was fortunate enough to stumble upon a flashlight. At least I learned in the process that those things hate light. What are they? Are they g, -g ghosts How should I know? Just because I'm an adult doesn't mean I have all the answers. Besides, there's no such thing as ghosts. Or people coming back from the dead. Or any of that other occult nonsense. I'm a journalist, I deal in facts. I have no interest in wild fantasies. We must be dealing with some kind of poisoning here, a mass hysteria or something. They're all patients after all. There is a logical explanation for this. A medical cause, there has to be. What was that noise a second ago? What noise? I don't recall a noise, you're scaring me. I wouldn't recommend looking under that. 
very heavy set man wearing a suit. He was clearly dead, his whole body covered with a white cloth, which was said soaked up in absolutely nauseating amount of blood. I don't know him, but he was with me until a shoot until just a short while ago. Until they ate his face in the hall out there. Oh. <laughs> Why is this happening? All I know is it's dangerous to hang around in the halls here, so I've got a proposal. As you've already seen, there's no escape from this building. I don't know why, but all the exits and windows are completely shuttered. You can't force your way past any of it. Believe me, I tried. But I think the safest thing for us to do right now is barricade ourselves somewhere out of the way until help arrives. What do you think? I'm planning on making my way over to the nurse's station. It's got electricity and lighting. More importantly, a direct or right line to the outside. There we, we get in touch with the proper authorities. Then we wait for someone to bring us, bring us safely out of this hell. Had a sticker on that red nurse's station. Ooh, this is cool. Actually following. And she actually waits for us. Uh-uh, you go in first. You go. You go. We not cool like that. I don't trust you. You go first. Fine. Hell no. Back up. I know what you must be thinking. What good will holding ourselves up do? But I have a plan. Look. Turn your phone towards me. There was a message on the screen which read, I'll come get you. Wait somewhere bright. Masami. Here's my fiance, 15 years younger than me, I might add. He works as a nurse here. That's, that's not a flex. How old are you? If he's 15 years younger, how old are you? Uh. Well, now is that a smile? That's a nice sight to see. <laughs> so you're with me then, right? Help will come, there's no need to worry. Why is he coming? Call the police. The nigga probably dead already. Why are you walking so slow? I don't like that. Hold on. Let me save. Hey, wait. Wait, let me save. Wait, wait up. Are you okay? Are you all right? No, no, don't die until we... Don't die until we get there. Don't die until we get there. Yes, I'm fine. I wish I knew what was causing this though. I'll cover my mouth next time. Sorry about that. Don't you dare die until you call the police. Don't you dare die until we put the plan into action. I really like how you have to follow her because it makes like, it makes it so much creepier because I don't know if she's just gonna suddenly disappear I don't know if she's gonna like attack me at random suddenly. I feel like we're being watched from behind, right? An old woman, but why here and now? Whoever she is, there's clearly something not quite right about her. She's moving right now. Oh, this is hard. This is, this is hard. I think I want to spit a bar. Uh, I think I'm finna drive a car. Hold on. Bro, you can make a nice beat out of that. I've got absolutely no clue where we're going. You the one that was talking about going to the nurse's station? Oh, right here. Oh snap! What is he doing to her? Risuko, that girl, we have to save her! 
We can't. Not unless we want that old hag to get us. Dang it! What should I do? Get this. Hey! Get out! Go out of here! Get back! Get away from her! Risa is this still not open? Why is the lock so stiff? Get out of here! I hit my elbow! Shut up and go! Hold on, this Ayame girl might be kind of cold. I mean, she just, she just beat the, she just beat the shit out of a ghost, bruh. We don't want any more of them to gather outside. We need something to barricade the door with. Anything, hurry. That door is not barricaded. <laughs> what was that? She said. Damn. They, the way they sit is so funny. Risuko, your hand is bleeding. Yeah, pretty badly too. A first aid kit. Why is your hand bleeding? What could have possibly caused your hand to bleed? Thank goodness, there's still bandages in it. Even some gauze. Let me see it. Thanks. I just cut the back on it. I just cut the back of it on some glass. It should be fine if you wrap it up tight. Ayame? Chiyomi! You know her? Thank goodness I finally found you! I remember her. That was so scary. She looks stupid. You aren't hurt, are you, Chiyomi? I'm okay. I thought that weird guy was gonna do me or something, though. I owe you one. Eyes are completely glossed over with tears. That must have been absolutely terrifying for her. Are you all right? Yeah, good looking now, lady. Thank ah, what you taking pictures for? This is the most bizarre situation I've ever been in in my entire life. There's no way I'm not gonna take pictures. They're in for quite a shock back at the office. As soon as I get out of here, I'll have to make reservations at a fancy restaurant or something. I'd say I've earned it. What, but I'm not wearing any makeup. Don't show those to anyone. She a friend of yours? Yeah, we're classmates. Nice to meet you, then. Risuko Satomi. I'm a press photographer. Aha, that makes sense. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> it's certainly good that you're safe. If I were alone, I'm sorry to say, I'd left you to die. I don't suppose you know anything about what's going on, do you? Uh... Not a clue. Didn't think so. This hospital is full of people who've gone absolutely out of their mind. Our lives are in danger here as you've seen firsthand. The worst part of it all is that all the doors and windows are all shuttered, all of them. There's simply no way out of here. So we've decided that we're gonna hide in here until help comes. Are you in or are you out? If you're not planning on lying low with us in here, then I'm afraid I'll have you have to leave. So what's it to be? Oh, when you put it that way, I guess I'll stay? Okay, then in that case, you're one of us. Welcome aboard. We can get in touch with the outside from here, too. You better call 12. 
We did all this for no reason. Damn, I guess we can't. What is going on here? Those people outside are clearly suffering from a severe, a very severe illness. And if they cause enough of a panic from all the, for all the nurses to disappear, then surely someone must have tried looking for a cure by now, right? Yusuko began picking, flipping through all the papers and books on the floor one by one. She was photographing them frantically, almost haphazardly. Yo, check it out. You can see her underwear. Honestly, is this really the time? Not every day you get to see. It's not something you get to see every day now, is it? Stop, it's not polite to look. What's this? Did you find something worthwhile? Some of the books have red markings on them, look. Old yellow medical books and papers are mixed in with a scattered mess. Even at a glance, it was easy to tell these were not recent. Many articles were labeled Deathbringer and were paired with genuinely disturbing anatomical sketches, along with black and white case photos. Deathbringer? That sounds kind of familiar. Oh, you're right! All the red markings in these sections, they talk about that disease specifically. Can't say I've ever heard of it though. But a name like Deathbringer sounds like an epidemic you'd read in an old medieval village or something. I wonder how ancient this book even is. The handwriting's simply impossible to read. Rizuko continued fo fo photographing everything she could get her hands on. I can actually read this one. Let's see. The disease cause is unknown. It's commonly referred to as the dark curse. Once afflicted, the patient's limbs gradually turn black and they begin to behave very peculiarly. So the darkening, basically. Result, local residents rightfully came to fear it as a curse and addressed it accordingly. I have an idea of what might be happening. In Blood Drive, Ayumi sealed the Nirvana inside of herself with the, with the um, purpose of dying alongside it and ridding it for, the, for, all, for, for eternity. But what if that's not actually how it worked out and she wasn't actually strong enough to contain it forever? And because of that, the Nirvana did with nobody to stop the Nirvana from spreading. It did eventually reach out to the entire world. And this is just, and this is the effects of the Nirvana taking over the world. Anyway, I think we'll have more than enough time to look into this after we escape from here. I've at least got plenty of photos now. Let's have a little break from the gloominess, shall we? I'll go make us all some coffee. I don't know if I would drink anything that's in here. Don't worry about being stuck in here for a long time or anything. It's not like we'll be in here for days. It's just until help arrives. I sent him another text. So I'm sure he'll reply soon. He's dead, girl. He's dead. He's dead. Hey, this room might have been a ventilation duct. If we listen closely, we might be able to hear what's going on somewhere, going on elsewhere in the building. Stop coughing. So who's the dude you're sending messages to? His name is Masami, Masami Yoshinaka. He works as a nurse here. He your boyfriend? Beyonce, actually. Oh yeah, you mentioned that. Ooh la la. Strange. Anyway, the message I sent him that we're waiting in the nurse's office. Let's see let's see what he says in response. What? How about you call him? I mean it's the phone. That's gotta be way faster, right? I've tried repeatedly, but he never picks up. Stands the reason he wouldn't though. With the hospital as it is, he must have his hands full finding people to tend to all the patients here. Keeping track of everyone caught up in this mess can't be an easy job. This coffee is good. Chiyomi, I have to ask, why are you here? Like, at the hospital, did you get hurt? You kidding? I heard you were laid up and came to pay you a visit, silly. What? I was supposed to come here with Kurara, Shibainu, and Zakiyama, but those plans fell through, so we decided to just meet here instead. Which means I came here all by myself. 
I was admitted here? Ooh, she hasn't worked out that I got left behind because I overslept. Dodge a bullet there. You do realize we can read you like a book, don't you? It's plainly obvious from your tone exactly what you're thinking. Anyway, I was buying some candy that helped me wake up when all of a sudden, these shutters started coming down in the hall. There was a huge scream, then BAM! Everything was just chaos. People were running around and freaking out, totally out of control. And that's when the whole place got all white and smoky. I breathed some of the smoke in and before I knew it, I was unconscious. Then when I came to, I was on the floor in the bathroom. And what I really want to know is who the hell stole my underwear? It's getting pretty drafty and cold down south, you know? Tommy took a hold of her skirt and both hands began waving and flapping it about. The answers, my friend, are blowing in the wind. I don't, I don't think you should do that. Chiyomi, Chiyomi, Chiyomi. Can you tell me why I was in a hospital to begin with? Huh? I, uh, kind of lost my memories. Are you, like, serious? There's no way. Surely you haven't forgotten me, right? No, I remember you. I remember everybody else you mentioned, too, from school. But that's about all I remember. I couldn't tell you anything about myself right now other than my name. Holy crap. I hate this. I'm so scared. Why is it red over there? I don't like that. Come on, don't cry. It'll be okay. I'll tell you everything I know. I can fill in all your missing memories. How about that? Hey, what? Do you mean to tell me you have amnesia? That's right. Why didn't you say so sooner? Um, it just didn't really come up. I'm sorry. Really sorry. What do you think you're doing making Naomi feel bad, you old hag? Excuse me? Stop it, Chiyomi. Uh, but I was just sticking up for you. All I meant was, if you told me, I might have been able to help you. No more keeping secrets, okay? We're in this together. All right. So your friends are in this hospital too then? They're dead. They should be. I think we should go look for... I see, I certainly hope they're okay. Cutting her off is crazy. Not that any of that should matter to us right now, of course. We're staying put in here until help arrives. <laughs> Why they turn at each other like, like that? Do you see any TVs or radios? I'd like to know what's going on outside. Huh? Can't you just use your phone? No, Miss Smarty Pants, I can't. My phone doesn't have those fancy features. Sorry to be so behind the times. This is, this is why you get a smartphone. It's okay to have a burner. It's okay to have a burner, a little flip phone. You know, that's good. That's actually smart. It's smart to have a burner flip. But you gotta have a smartphone. It's necessary. Having a smartphone is necessary. <laughs> Just go find us a television. It's a nurse's station, so there has to be one around here somewhere. Can I hit her with that? I want the company to give me a smartphone already. Uh, Only had my phone. We could watch TV or browse the internet all we wanted, boo. Oh, that's why it was right over here. Okay. What is it, the computer? A TV, I found one. Excellent. I could be in fine working order too. 
Be a deer and plug it in for me, will you? There's an outlet right over there. Wow, I can't believe they're broadcasting tokusatsu shows at the time like this. Are we not newsworthy enough? It's not just one channel. Look like they're all showing regular programming. Which means as far as the outside world is concerned, there's nothing newsworthy going on right now. What the? What's that sound? I think... Yeah, that's a nurse call. I heard it when I came here. One of the patients pressed their call button. Seems like it. Where's it coming from? I don't freaking know. Right here. Light flashing next to where it says MRI room. But the only thing in the MRI room is a dead body, so why? Yes, is someone there? Does someone ring for help? Are you are you in your right mind? Hello, is anyone there? Please speak clearly if you are. No answer. It must just be malfunctioning. No, I, I heard I heard that growl. What's wrong, Ayame? I was in the MRI room. There's a dead body in there. So if that's where the call is coming from. What are you doing? She hitting that. She hitting that. My fault. We just ignore it then. Problem solved. You can't just switch off a nurse call system like that. What if someone actually needs our help? It's clearly broken and that noise was really starting to get under my skin. I'm thinking I'm going to go take a look. Excuse you? I'm going to go to the MRI room. Are you a complete moron? But there might be someone hurt there. Hurt badly enough that they can't even speak. And if I can bring them here, we might be able to help them. And it might be one of your friends. Is that really what you're trying to say? No, you're not going anywhere. We made up our minds to hold up in here, didn't we? That means we're not opening that door for any reason. What do you think will happen if one of them sees you leave? If they find out we're all in here, they're gonna just they're all gonna decide to swarm the room. What's gonna happen to us? That's that's fair. This plan stops working the second people stop following it. So if you're in, you're into the very end. You got that? Come on, Ayame, let's go. I'd rather take my chances out there than stay with this psycho. I don't hold on. I wanna call her a psycho. She 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 has a very good point. What's that, you little shit? If you want to, why'd I say it like that? If you want to go, you're going alone. Uh, no, Ayame's the one who suggested going in the first place, so I'll have her with me. I really would like to take a look and see who it is. Little brats, I'm your elder. You have to listen to me. Nah, I don't really feel like it. Hold on, what it is? Nah. I'm gonna do my own thing. <laughs> I said, listen, get back here. If you leave here, that's it. I am never letting you in again. So you better think real hard before you step out that door. Please don't do that. We'll be back really soon. So please don't shut us out. We don't want to be trapped outside. And stay in here like we agreed. We had a plan, remember? Let's go, Ayame. What is she doing? 
Ow, oh, what are you? If you're so insistent in going, then you go on alone. What? I don't want to be alone. Stop. She might be a psycho. Get going to the MRI room. Why don't you? Too bad the only thing you'll find there is a corpse. Chiomi! One idiot is more than enough for me. Let's hope this knocks some sense into her. If you leave, you can't come back. I mean, is that really what you want? Come on now. Chiomi, where did you go? Shut up. Adachi! Chiomi? Chiomi! Chiomi! Oh, Ayame! Chiyomi! Thank goodness I... You couldn't have picked a better time to show up! Save me! What? Over at the end of the stalls, there's some toilet paper, right? Bring it here, please! Was there none in there? Boils the blood, dude. Alright. Hey man, I feel you, like... I feel you, girl. You got it when you, when you gotta... When you shitting, pooping, and this and you, then, then you realize there's no toilet paper in there. Holy roly polies, thank you, Ayami. You literally saved my ass. Holy roly polies. What is she talking about? Why does that sound so familiar? Does she say that a lot? Course party. Don't 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 evolve your piss fetish into a shit fetish, I'm begging you. Sorry for the wait. I feel like that might just be a catchphrase for her. But I just can't remember. Maybe I should ask. <laughs> Never mind. I don't want to make this too awkward. It's weird enough with me forgetting so much else. <laughs> so where should we start? What do you want to know? <laughs> well, I guess. Why was I hospitalized to begin with, maybe? You just got really tired, I think. During class, you kind of collapsed all of a sudden. They said it was anemia. Even at the school office, they couldn't wake you, so they called for an ambulance, and here you are. And after class, we all decided to come pay you a visit. Uh -huh. Wow, really? None of that rings a bell at all. That's fine, though, I think. There are some memories you're better off without. Bad stuff like hitting your head and getting knocked out, for example. So here's hoping your memories of those bad times never come back. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, right, okay, how about my family then? Guess you want to know about them. I don't think I'll be much help. You don't really talk about your family. So my knowledge of them is pretty, uh, well, I have no knowledge of them, sorry. Do you still remember elementary school? Like what happened with Masato? Uh, yeah. What year? Uh, what year? Yeah. What well, we're what? Fuck. What year were you back then? Second grade was it? Third. He saved our cat from being run over by a car. Uh, 
What's so funny? Oh, nothing. Just of course, of course you'd remember that. He is your knight in shining armor after all. What? Don't say things like that. That was a long time ago. Am I good at, am I good at talking like a girl? Masato. This design doesn't suck. He looks kind of familiar though, and I don't really like that. My name is Masato. Masato Hiyami. I see. Well, thank you very much, young man. With your help, everyone can be saved. Why don't you come with me? I'm sure the others will be thrilled. No, um, I, I feel like I should find my own way. I'm not very good with large crowds, you see. All right. Well, I certainly can't force you. I do apologize. If I find a way out, I'll let you know right away. You'll be... You'll all be in room 9, correct? Yes, that's right. Thank you. If we find anything, we'll let you know too. Thank you very much. Ayame, come back! I'm sorry! I know I shouldn't have teased you about him. I don't want to hear it. I was only trying to lighten the mood. Okay, you got me. I knew it all along. Anyway, the MRI room is over this way. Let's go. Oh, that's so creepy. Ooh, that is hard. These ghosts are stupid. What's in here? Oh, this is the MRI room. Huh? <laughs> Chiyomi, don't scare me like that. <laughs> Look, Ayame, I... It's gone! It's gone! The body is gone! Run to the nurse's station and tell Rizuko what happened. What the heck? Get your ankles broke, bruh. Get your ankles broke, bruh. What's that? What is that? Hold on. Something's not right. What is that smell? It reeks of blood. Ritsuko, we're back. Ritsuko, we're back. Please let us in. It's not locked. Doors lock and become twisted and malformed as if it were violently forced open. <laughs> what do you think will happen if one of them sees you leave? If they find out we're in here, they're gonna all just swarm us. Plan stops working. Wow, this is my fault. Rizuko, I'm sorry. Oh no, Shiobi! This is just chaos! Oh my goodness!
Oh snap, I didn't even realize I was being attacked. I was trying to fix my dang camera, cause it messed up. All right, all right, guys, guys, guys. This time, this time. Let's not get everyone killed, all right? Yeah, that was a bad ending. That was a bad ending. I can tell, cause look, it's the second ending. All right, we're back at it. Um, There was something else that I was able to do. I'm trying to remember. Oh. Okay. All right, we're back at it. And I don't found what I'm supposed to do. I guess I can go through here. There's an air conditioning duct here with a plastic grill fitted over the opening. It looks big enough for a person to fit inside. The grill is held in place by four slotted screws. Do I have anything? Well, will 10 yen coins work? Do I like, I'm gonna say one more time. Just cause I'm paranoid. Prices like this are all about, look, all about looking out for number one. Everyone needs to stay in control and protect themselves. And in the end that helps everyone else too. We all work together by helping ourselves. Okay, I understand. There you go. You're a good girl, I like your kind. I don't like the way you said that. Now can I go or do I still need something? I need this thing to move out of my way. Masami sent me another message. He asked if I'm hurt. He's such a sweetie. And here I'm the older one in the relationship. So I'm supposed to be looking after him. I'll send him a reply right away. I'm fine aside from cutting my hand a bit. Crazy. I'm worried about Chiyomi, but I can't just leave Ritsuko by herself. I need to get her to come around. I understand what you're saying, Ritsuko, but I still can't help worrying about Chiyomi. I don't believe that helping people is the same as holding them back. I won't deny that I'm concerned about my friends, but even if they weren't here, I'd still believe that going to help those in need is the right thing to do. Spoken like a true naive young child. You're just being foolish. Oh, he's apparently already at the hospital. He says to wait for him in here. Okay. Great news. We'll be out of here a bit quicker than I thought. Watch him die. Watch this. Cutscene. Oh, that must be them now. We're finally safe. There certainly are a lot of them, though. Oh, no, that's the monsters. What is that sound? Yeah, push that barricade. No, push that barricade. What? What is it? Hold on. Hey, Masami, are you out there? The door won't open. Something's holding it shut. Hey, what are you doing? Like weather stripping. Are we actually being sealed up in here? This has to be some kind of joke. Masami, pick up. Out of range or switched off. Sound of glass shattering. A small hole formed in the window. Then through the blinds, a nozzle emerged. Hey, who's there? Open this door already. What are you doing? Ritsuko, I think you should get away from the door. I said open the door! There are two healthy, sane people in here. Ritsuko! Hey, 
At this rate! Good thing I knew where an escape route was. What's up with her? Masami, Masami, why? Ritsuko, we can get out from here. Ritsuko, you going ahead, I'll be right behind you. Dang, her fiance turned on her. I can't. My body feels so heavy. Risuko, what happened? Ritsuko, go, are you deaf? In times like these, it's every man, woman, and child for themselves. You should always do what your elders tell you when adults speak their words carry weight and responsibility. Unlike you children who just say whatever you want, whenever you want. Ritsuko, just go. Did you betray me? Damn. Ritsuko, stand up. I'm not going without you. Hold on to my back. I'll help you reach the vent. So time should stop, huh? We, we, now we got infinite. You stupid child, are you insane? Why don't you just leave me? I have no worth here. I'm just a fool who was betrayed. Hold on. What's that shadow around her? Don't be getting the darkening around me now. I have no... Uh, shut up. The words of children can have weight and responsibility too, you know. I'm tired of you hand handling me with kid gloves. Well, let me help you. Get in the vent. Hurry up already. Climb on my back and get in the vent. All right. They've escaped into the ducks. Fortify the other airmen. Don't let them get away. What is going on? Is Corpse Party about to like start getting political? Like, like there are secret government plots and stuff. Like, is this the route they're going? <laughs> it should be far enough, I hope. How are you holding up, Risiko? I'm a lot better. My eyes don't hurt as much either. So, uh, where are we? Judging by the direction we've been moving, we should be pretty near the building southeast stair southwest stairwell by now. I, I really owe you one. I'm just glad we were able to escape together. I really do believe helping one another is important, even in situations like this. Still, what was that back there? I imagine someone from the hospital staff came to get the situation under control, but they've gone a bit too far off the deep end, indiscriminately trying to subdue everyone whether they're infected or not. What about Chiyomi then? She went to the MRI room. Shouldn't we go after her? As you wish. Your wish is my command, Miss Ito. Um, you, you don't need to be so formal with me. Just call me Ayame like before. No, I want to address you with Miss Ito. It, it, don't, it seems only right. After everything you've done, won't you let me, please? Uh, how about we just go then? Chiyomi could be in real danger. 
as you wish. I've got a loyal servant. That's a W. She gonna follow my every command. Is it this way? This might not be the way. One of those creepy zombie people, we should keep moving. I'm calling them zombies, but what are they? Are they just like, are they just victims of the darkening? Are they actual ghosts? Oh, well, she's calling them zombies, so I guess it's fine to call them that. Well, I guess technically, like, subjecting yourself to the... Falling to the darkening is basically like becoming a zombie. No one down there, everyone should be safe. Consultation record. Not being used to riding in foreign-made cars, I went and caught the index finger of my right hand in the door as I was getting in. This is after getting a compound fracture on my other hand not long ago. I'm such an idiot. Bless the screen, x-ray images. Movable bed. All right, well, let the bed move. Move out the way. Oh, snap. What am I doing? Oh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Thirty-two eighty-five. You're just no help, huh? Oh, the door. I'm stupid. Xiaomi. I'm not seeing any sign of them. Yeah, we shouldn't get too complacent, though. We should try to stay out of, stay out of sight as much as we possible. From here, the MRI room is, well, I'm not sure. I recommend we check the hospital directory. Good idea. I know where the MRI room is. Hope you're okay, Chiyomi. Oh, that's a cop. Oh. Well, it looks like using a staircase is out of question. It's a bit of a detour, but it looks like we're gonna have to use the elevator to get to the second floor now. So we're going this way then. Sir, you do not see us. Sir. Sir, you don't see us. Sir, you don't see us. Sir, you don't see us. <laughs> kind of a jerk, aren't you? He just got that good. <sighs> there are so many people. So they must be the ones who pumped that tear gas into the room. They're monsters. Look what they're wearing, too. Alphys have the hospital's logo on them. They're part of the hospital staff after all. That's one of the patients. Have they no shame or mercy? Let's go, I can't bear to watch this. Goodness, they're not even trying to like, help, they're just killing. I mean, I won't judge, like I, I do the same thing, but 
They're doctors, bro. They should be able to find the cure and figure something out. They don't got to resort to just beating them to death. They just lazy. Dang, so we're not even running away from ghosts no more, bro. We're running away from real people. Just, just, just some evil people. That one clan that Misato's a part of, I forget what their name is. Watch us find out. He, watch, watch us find out they got something to do with this. Watch us find out they got something to do with this, bro. They were so... His clan was so irrelevant. Like, I don't forgot. Watch out! Is she by? What the freak is it? Ito. <laughs> Calm down. No sign of Chiyomi. Open the door already. Come on. Hey, what are you doing? Hey. Door is still shut from the outside with an iron plate. Whatever was used is made impossible to open from inside. This thing sends someone in there trying to get out. We might have done the wrong thing, guys. That looks like a monster. Um, are you alright? It's... It's him, but he's supposed to be dead. Don't close. Okay. Misito! She is strong! You are right. Let me help you up. Thanks, Risuka. What's going on? Open. No, please. Watch out, Miss Ito. He's gotten back up. Are you okay? Come on, we can hide in the locker. Ito, is that you, Ito? Ayame? Shimazaki? Tashimizu? Thank goodness you're all right. We've been looking for you all over. We were so worried. Tessie Mishu, stay out of sight. I'll distract him. I will. I will. Hold on. Right, give me that. What is he doing? Ah! Yo, hurry up! What is taking you so long? Oh, I got him trapped in the corner. I gotta do something. What's this? Oh, okay, make him come to me. I gotta catch him in the light at the right time. I'm right here.
Yeah! Yeah! Let's go. Come on. One more hit. No, that's it. One more hit. No, that's it. One more hit. No, that's it. I'm upset. Hold on. Big talent on my head. Disrespect. Did you enjoy being useless, Kurara? Are you okay, Shimzaki? You just casually didn't do anything to help. Oh, dang, hold on. That man looks studious. Yeah, I couldn't breathe for a minute, but I'm okay now. Ito, are you okay, Ito? That was some impressive work finishing him off like that. There's no guarantee he's down for good, though. We need to restrain him just in case. How? How? Who are you again? You seem like you're on our side at least, but I don't believe we've met. I'm Ritsuko Satomi, just a middle-aged nobody. How can you talk about yourself like that? Well, it's true. The camera I've always had with me is now broken and my beloved has betrayed me and left me for dead. There's really nothing left for me anymore. I'm completely empty inside. She's a press photographer. Press. It's all right, Miss Ito. Now give me a hand, you two. There's no need to put Miss Ito out with all this. Hold on, at least she know. At least she know who run the building. She know who run. Who gonna run this town tonight? So I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but these people aren't sick. They're dead. Look. Opening in the man's shirt, a gaping hole was clearly visible right through the center of his chest. He's got no heart. And he was moving around like this? There's no way he could have been alive. Can we leave the room now? It's scary and smelly. We gotta find Chiyomi, bro. That fool Shibai. I get that the monster was scary, but he didn't have the luck I sent with it. So he's the person who put that iron plate on the door? Yeah, anyway, I'm glad you're all right. But let's save the catching up for later. We need to figure out a way out of here. The windows are all sealed up, sealed up with metal shutters, so they're out. Right now, it seems some sort of capture team under the hospital supervision has come into the building to get everything sorted out. Judging by the shutters over every possible exit, I'd say their aim is to quarantine and subdue everyone in here, healthy or no. I don't doubt a major hospital like this would do everything in their power to keep a scandal in this magnitude from getting out, no matter the price. Unbelievable. That explains why there's such a commotion on the first floor all of a sudden. Exactly, and with all the noise we've caused, they're liable to find us as well if we don't hurry. Wait, if they were able to get inside the building to capture everybody... Bingo. They're going to need to get out at some point, too. Right now, they have their hands full trying to round up all the patients, and that's only after determining who's alive and who's dead. And since majority of the patients in here are undoubtedly fighting back, I think it's safe to assume... There could be areas where the shutters were left open while patients keep the capture team busy. Let's do it. Let's bust our way out of here. But what about Shibai? Who cares about him? He betrayed us. He can run in here for all I care. I agree with him. Actually, Chiyomi is here too. She is? I don't want to just leave her behind. Or Shibai for that matter. Me neither. I'm with Ryuji, bro. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard cock. Escape is paramount in my mind, but saving the lives of your friends is just as important. Let's see if we can find them. Being very careful, we're not found ourselves, of course. All right, when do we start looking for an exit, though? When we do start looking for an exit. However, whatever these guys got in here, got in here from, is gotta be on the first floor. Wherever, wherever, not whatever, wherever. Head to the first floor and look for an exit.
How do you all know no know, know one another anyway? We're just classmates. But we've been friends since we were kids. Oh really? Is that all? Um She's doing that thing older people do when they try to Why are you walking so behind? Don't do that. Oh dear. What is it? As you just saw back in the operating room, the patients here hate the light. So corridors that are well lit are safe, but when they're dark like this, Hey, Kai. Uh... Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry out. Oh my goodness, it's so dark. Over this way. Gotta find that elevator. Or not. That's been blocked off. I could have swore that's where we came from though. Personally, I think the person with the flashlight should be all the way in the back, no? So that everybody can be like in the light. And if something happened to them, you would know because the flashlight would be gone. So like there would be... I didn't even see cuz. Ah, he's eating me! How you doing, sir? Uh... <laughs> I love just walking past the phantoms like that, bro. I love doing that. It's... Contagion is loose. Evacuate immediately. The front entrance is being sealed. Get away. Front entrance is this way. My goodness, how are y'all losing? All you gotta do is hit it with a flashlight. Why are you all, all gobbling on me, bruh? You got all these other people you can eat, but you trying to eat my face off. Depending on how you look at it, like, these guys just kind of suck. Like, y'all really came in here with full-on armor, weapons, and everything. Forget about it, bro. Just get out. Am I even going the right way? We gotta go to the front entrance, right? I do not recall where that is. Right there, that's where it is, okay. Y'all got demolished. A bomb? What happened? Shimazaki! They're firing gas canisters at us. Stay back and they'll get you too. We'll get out of here, trust me. You need to take this chance and run while you can. Tell the world what's going on in here. Everyone needs to know. Leave it to me. Reporting the truth is my duty. Bro, stop! Stop! Bro, stop! Yo, that ain't funny, dog. Ouch! Hold on, give me a sec. At least let me get up, dang. Go, go! Reese code the door. Hold on, I'll get it open. All right, I'll try to distract them. 
Run. 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 Reach the toe. Reach the toe. Reach the toe. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to just stick right here. I've unlocked it. Is that Oishi? Oh, you aren't going anywhere. Masami, why? What a foolish question, dead patient. Bro, just title drop. What a foolish question, dead patient. If you were to leave the confines of this hospital, imagine how it would affect the world. What? What are you talking about? Chiyomi, Shibai! What's going on? What do you mean, dead patient? You truly are dense, Ritsu. In more ways than one. Hitting women isn't cool, man. Stop that. Dense in brains and dense in mass. I mean, but I assume you got that. What? Huh? <laughs> Much better. Nosebleeds are serious business, you know. Can't be too careful with all that blood. So you want to know the truth, do you? Now you're a pretty one, aren't you? That's much more like it. Yeah. For Yoshiki. <laughs> Yoshiki! Yoshiki, please! Help me! Sure. So pretty and so pink inside your body. Care to see for yourself, Ito? <laughs> I, my heart. No need for concern, just believe in yourself. Your session is only just beginning after all. Be sure you don't wind up a pathetic failure like those other dead patients though. Bro, shut up. Dog, dog.
That was hard. I ain't taking this sweet time. I want to say, um, yo, this was really interesting, actually. I wasn't expecting, like, I honestly wasn't expecting too much. I'm gonna be real. I, I, I expected it to be good and interesting, but this was a lot more interesting than I was expecting. The gameplay was a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be, you know? I, I, I just didn't really have, I didn't have high expectations. And now, I, I, you know, and it, it just kind of blew my expectations away. I'm gonna be real. This was hard. I rocked with it. Uh, I'm excited if they ever do actually finish this. I'm excited to see what they do with it. What time is it? 5.33. It's just 5.33. I could probably um, fit in some whatchamacallit. These credits is taking too long, so I'm about to close out the game. Uh, I want to see these extra chapters. I want to see this extra chapter. You really sure you want to go? Satoshi! Yo, he looks kind of cool. Yeah, we can't just sit and hide in here forever, can we? If we're going to get out of here, we need a better idea of what's going on. Don't worry about me, though, okay? I'll be back. Just stay in here and wait for me, okay, Mom? All right. Mom. Never mind. It's nothing. Just please take care. I will. You take care too, though, all right? Promise me you'll come back safe and sound. I will, I promise. I'll be back in no time, at all. Dang, Satoshi's grown now. Whoa! I'ma be real, this is its own episode. This is its own episode. I'ma have to come back to this another time. This is its own episode. Peace out. I love you guys. Tap into the next one. I'm excited for this extra chapter.